Hey folks, welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program. So last time we tried to improve our ability to produce strange matter a little bit, as well as working on some more weaponry uh, that we could use to take down, maybe take down a hive. Uh, we ran into some power problems on all Wade 4, and in retrospect, I think I got a little too cute trying to import the, the energy exchangers. We set that up in a pretty much even exchange between all Wade 1 and all Wade 3 here. And there's not really capacity to be sending additional power over to uh, all Wade 4, our ice planet. So instead, what I'm going to do, it only needed like a little tiny bit. Oh, I've got my, <laughs> I've got my space fleets out. Let me recall them all. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over there and I'm going to take a couple hundred uh, wind turbines. They're not that much individually, but a few, a, a, sh a field of a couple hundred of them should give us a good chunk of power generation. So we'll go take care of that. And then we'll come back and we'll plan for our assault on the Hive at Better Dyson. Uh, real quick, let's see if we can pick up a technology to upgrade here. Uh, we can activate you, and you, and you, that's fine. Sure, why not? Let's just start picking up anything we don't have. We have all the important things, I think, at this point. So we'll just pick up whatever we can that we haven't already got. That seems fine. Alright, let's head over to our ice planet and throw down, some, throw down a quick wind farm. Uh, that should help us out. Alright, let's go. Okay, there we go. Nice quick trip. Uh, let's see, where do we want this? I think we want to remove what we set down. We want to get rid of these, I think. Unless it, unless it suddenly started working in my absence, which it may well have. We'll go check it out. Uh, no, not here. Over there. No, this is wrong as well. Where where, <laughs> where, did, where did I put that stuff down? We had... No, it's these two. Okay, it's those two. Yeah, these, these are not going to work. So we're going to cancel this plan. And we'll throw down a quick wind farm here. So let's see, there's a big open space here that doesn't have any minerals in it. This will work just fine. Let's go ahead and start spamming out uh, wind turbines, shall we? Okay. Out of build range. Okay, that's the first 50 down. interesting seeing the lines that it forms as the uh, curvature of the planet interferes. What do we got? We got the first hundred down.
Okay, we're almost done. Nine left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, well. There we go. Okay, so how much did that really fix our problem? Let's take a look. Uh, that was 200, I believe, wind turbines. And it has added a quarter. A quarter here. So each one produces 209 kilowatts, 10 produce... Uh, so, so what, that's, uh, 10 produce 2 megawatts, uh, so 100 produces 20, we got 40 megawatts out of that, so we were, yeah, we were right around 250, now we're at 300, that's enough to, to keep this planet busy for a while, it does take up an absolutely inordinate amount of the surface, look at that, <laughs> look at how much space it takes up to do that. It's crazy. Like, they're not that efficient in terms of land usage, but, I mean, you can spam them out quick and cheap, and they're, they're I guess, what I would call a quick fix. Um, they're also vulnerable to attack, but our hive has been silent for a long time. We started of energy and matter, so it can't do anything. Uh, Light-footed. Unlock upgrade to make the mecha move at 12 meters per second. Okay. Uh, let's see, you're... what are you? Where are you? I don't actually know where that is pointing. Oh, okay. That's the hive. Alright, um... I think we're good here. Let's head back home and prepare for our assault on Better Dyson's hive. I don't know how it's gonna go. We'll find out. As a matter of fact, we might be ready now. I mean, I have my four fleets set up. I've got two destroyers in the fleet. So two two of the two of the squadrons are all corvettes, and then two of the squadrons go around a a, a destroyer. And then in the hangar, I've got 10 destroyers to spare and 100 no, 46 corvettes. I probably let's see. I can fit more corvettes in here like that I probably want to get a few more destroyers in my in my inventory but mostly I think we're there let's head home and pick up a few more destroyers and then we'll go try we'll try out space combat we'll see how we fare against the hive at better Dyson all right that's the plan there's better Dyson taunting us in the distance Let's go home. Okay, we'll pick up a few more uh, destroyers. And the other thing I should take with me is a handful of orbital collectors to set up the at the ice giant at that place. Wouldn't hurt to grab some geothermals either. We could spatter them all over the lava planet there. If we're successful in taking down the hive, we can really begin building up infrastructure without really worrying about anything. So we'll take a little bit with us to make sure the trip isn't wasted. Let's see. Um, I don't know why the Steam achievement shows up like five to six minutes after the in-game achievement, but I guess it doesn't super matter. Let's see. Uh, let's take a bunch of geothermals with us. For the lava planet. Is that you? Yeah. All right, four hundred should be enough. I would hope. <laughs> uh, orbital collectors are way down here. Uh, let's see. It's these ones, right? Yeah. These are the orbital collectors. So, I'm right now I'm carrying 10. And I th think I put 10 there already. No, I'm carrying 6. Uh, 
So I think 30 more would do the trick. How many is that? We got planetary logistics. Orbital collectors. Where am I? Hold on. I don't have any interstellar logistics stations right now, so I should top those up as well. Okay. Uh, so orbital collectors, we have 14. What is happening? Why? Orbital collector, interstellar logistics. There's some kind of weird interaction here where they're not sorting properly. Okay, interstellar, interstellar. That's what happened. Let me put the spare six back and come over here. Okay, now from you, you guys have the little blue base. Yeah, I want six here to get me to 20. And then another 10 for 30. Okay, now now we're in now we're in business, I think. So we got 30 orbital collectors. We got like 400 geothermals. You know what else I should take with me? Because um because we have a tidally locked planet. Where are you landing? Clement Star? Okay. That could that could be a problem in a bit. Uh because we have a tidally locked planet on Better Dyson 2. I should take a couple stacks of solar panels with me. Don't know how many of those I'll end up using, but it will be nice to kickstart a little bit of energy on that planet as well. Alright, let's pick up our spare destroyers. Whatever's been made in the interim. Looks like the answer is nothing because of strange matter? No. No, I did get some more. Excellent. Okay. I'll take all of these. Okay, there's no more strange matter, but such is life. You can't always get what you want. If you try sometimes, you can get what you need. Let's make sure we have a full 50 in the hangar. So we got Corvettes and Destroyers in the hangar. Um, our space fleet is all set up. Uh, I'm okay for power. And I'm okay for... I might want to... Uh, I have more ammo, right? Yeah. We want to auto ammo replenish. So I'll put a stack of each of my uh, weaponry type in here. I think we'll be pri primarily relying on the missiles. Now, this is not the highest grade of missile. But most of the work, I think, is going to be done by our fleet with their energy weapons. All right. So... I think we're going to try this now. I've been starving the hive at Better Dyson for a couple episodes. Let's go see what happens when we take it on with our fleet. Yeah, we've got four fleets, two destroyers, and what is this? Uh, 24 plus another 16. Uh, uh, 40. 40 Corvettes and two destroyers plus me. And backups in the hangar. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Okay, so en route, I had a realization, which is that I need to refill all my core energy before I take on the hive. We can't go directly there. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to recharge my core energy first. We'll do that with the recharge omatic. And I might even, I don't know. We might retreat. We might take this in stages. Uh, it does look like somehow they added a ninth, they added a ninth base here that I need to take care of. So I guess we'll do that as well. I guess Are there 9 here? 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. I don't see nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where is this? Where is that pointing? Hold on, let me zoom out to the planet level. 
Where is the hive sending stuff? Or is that or is that the hive? Not sure. It must be the hive. Okay. We're nice and full. I guess I'll <laughs> I'll guess I'll save again here. And we'll take off and see how this goes. Okay, so it's 4 AU away. That's a goodly amount. It gives us a minute. Uh, let me speed up here. It gives us a minute to play around with our settings. So let's see. All fleets enable. Okay. Let's enable all our fleets. And okay, so let me make sure I know my controls here. I can rotate with Q and R. I can speed up with shift and I can slow down with S. It's a very busy interface. Okay, we're getting closer. Kind of, I, the ideal thing would be to like peel off some of their forces and then pull them away from the hive to fight them, I think. And let, I'm gonna let my fleet do most of the work. But we don't want to take on the whole hive all at once. We want to do kind of like a flyby. And just like... Poke at them a little bit. Let's let's speed up a little bit here. We're still three AUs away. The, uh, the visit, the like, the vision is... This is going to be confusing and hard for me. Because, like, maneuvering in 3D space with this control set is a little bit challenging. And then there's a giant ball of fire in my face as well. I think we'll come in from a high attack angle. We'll try to go up to the top of the wheel. And just graze by it. And provoke some of their space fleets off. And we'll see how this goes. I guess I'll zoom out a little bit so we get the, be the best view possible. Let's just aim for, like, a let's aim for a spoke. Let's aim for something like that. And just do a, a little bit of a flyby. Maybe poke the hive and see if we can peel off some of their forces. Now, it, it should be starved. It shouldn't have any matter anywhere in the system. How far are we away? Half an AU? Like, there's no, there's no, there's nothing coming at it from a planet to bring it matter or energy. So I feel like it shouldn't be able to replenish itself too much. I don't know how this is going to go. It's my first time doing a space combat against the hive so we're just going to just going to try it and see what happens if i just I'm gonna aim towards i want to aim towards right above this like line of of items and then as we fly by like maybe i can fire a little okay they're they're fighting they're going in all right let's peel off and watch what happens Happy hunting one, neutralize 100 dark fog space units. Okay. So it's very, it's very challenging to, like, I can't quite see what's happening. God, look at, look at how much there is. Where am I actually? I'm kind of like, okay, I'm kind of flying around, around the outside of the cloud. Okay, so th this little guy down here is me. I'm not really contributing to the fight very much. Oh man, look at this. I immediately died. Okay. So I gotta keep my distance. How much of this do I have? Uh oh. That did not I got I got wrecked. All right, let's let's reload. I don't have the metadata, so I'm going to reload the game here and we're going to try that again and I'm going to keep my distance a lot better. Uh yeah. So like it was going okay. We kind of had the had the plan, we had the idea to peel them off. I should have let my I kind of thought like I'm not actually doing anything. I'm not I'm not um I'm not sending missile. I'm not shooting missiles at anything. But like I guess 
I guess the way I would put it is like, I'm the aircraft carrier and, and I need to like support my, my, my fighters, not get in there myself. It's, uh, it's very, very challenging to figure out, like, to track my movement versus the hive as all this is happening. Let's get the fleets out. We'll try this one more time and I'll try to, I'll try not to die this time. So when we got relatively close, they came out after us. Uh, it does seem... Hold on. I want my missiles on auto, I guess. All right. Let's see how this works. It's... Yeah, it's sort of hard to understand what's happening on screen, basically, is my... Is my is my problem. I want to just buzz by one wing and peel it off and then let my fleets do the work. Let's see if we can make that happen. Let's peel, let's try and peel off this outer spoke and see what happens. I can't actually shoot at them. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go away while the fighting occurs. And just kind of circle around. Wow. Wow. Look at it like disintegrating. Let me stay out of the fight as much as possible. So I'm trying to like keep an eye on things. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm too close. If I'm shooting missiles, I'm too close. I think I want to slow down a bit. Yeah, okay. The, the, the steering's weird. So, like, if I press left, I don't actually go left. Really. So my fleet seems to be doing fairly well. Look at all the look at all the lasers and energy they're spe they're spewing out. Look at all that the green light. Uh, I am burning through energy here. It's like I'm getting it's like I'm getting pulled in actually. Whenever I turn to look at it. Okay. Are they still fighting? Yeah, they're still fighting, right? Cuz this is all empty. So how much damage did we actually do? It looks like the hive is, is reforming to a degree. There's another, there's like a swarm of them up there. I'm not sure that the, the combat view helps me here. So what's the best thing to do? Do we go back in? I don't actually know where my units are. We've gotten one AU away from them. So I think they've kind of reformed. Like, I guess we need to get in a little bit closer. I don't know where my fleets are right now. Are they still fighting? I need to get a little bit closer. Maybe to replenish it. Let me, let me come to us. Let me just take a look here. If I look at the hive visually in this view, can I see what happened to it? Yeah, see, we, we took out kind of a big chunk of its its defenses here. I don't know how fast it can replenish that. Speaking of, what's my inventory look like? Uh, or my hangar? We only burned through... We did burn through a lot of Corvettes, almost 50, but only two destroyers. It looks like my, my fleet has reformed a little bit here. I think we need to get in close again and peel off a few more fighters. I gotta be careful not to die, but... Uh, we don't have a good angle here, plus I'm sort of out of energy. I guess I'm gonna... I guess I'm gonna go in and try and... Try and keep... keep them... keep them engaged. I guess it's moving away from us. I'm... I'm running out of energy here. I need to get closer, but... 
I don't want to get too close. And I don't want to be caught out, unable to retreat either. All right. A thousand meters per second seems good. We can buzz them again. It's like... I can't tell if it's rebuilding its infrastructure or not. There's like a swarm of units coming out here. So this is probably what I want to engage. Okay. Yeah, we need to take out the, these units without getting me killed, is the problem. I'm like out of energy, and it's hard for me to see what's happening. Are these... these are enemies behind me, or...? The mecha's core energy is dead. Okay. So, because I don't have core energy, I can't support my units? Is that what it's telling me? So we need to orbit this thing for a minute and let my, my core energy rebuild. Or, or travel to the nearest planet and land there. Uh, where's better Dyson 1? Okay, I didn't think about the core energy requirement. We can orbit it for a little bit. Let's see how much damage we did. I mean, we took out... Like, maybe almost half of its defensive... Well, maybe a third of its defensive units. There's better dice in one. Let me get over there if I can. On the little energy I have left. And recharge. Okay. All right. That went fairly well, I feel, for a first attempt. Ooh, this is intense. Okay, let's charge up. We'll go back and we'll strip off some more units. So... Let's see. We burn through... Corvettes. I have... 78 destroyers... And 296 Corvettes. Let me just put those in my inventory so that they... Automatically replenish. Yeah. I don't think we lost all that much. It just it just burned through energy. So I think we can I think we can make this work. Uh, I don't seem to be able to contribute much personally to the fight. It seems mostly I act as a staging platform for my uh, my space fleet, but that's okay. As long as we go back and keep culling faster than it can replenish itself, we should be able to like wear it down. Okay. Uh, I need to keep in mind that I need to keep my energy in mind. So we'll take a nice, simple cruise over there, and I'll speed up the travel time. Okay, we're going to buzz through the weakened side of the formation and see if we can kill some more units here. I'm going to keep an eye on my uh, core energy here and try not to do too much to blow through it. All right, they're starting to get attracted. Okay, now I personally turn away. And then we just kind of like orbit the fight while our fighters do the work. Yeah, I'm in a little close. I'm gonna I'm gonna head outwards. Yeah, I'm I'm too close here. Let's get away a little bit. So that's trash, right? Uh, we killed a thousand dark fog space units. So we're I'm kind of orbiting the hive while my 
while my fleets do the work. It's it's I, I can't explain how difficult it is to maneuver. Like it it it's it's basing how how it moves me based on where the camera is facing and not on the keys that I press. So like I have to face away from the I have to face away to orient myself and then as soon as I look towards the hive and press any key, like if I press left here, it turns me right, turns me inwards towards the hive. Okay, I think we've the combat seems to have died down. I'm not sure if we got all of its units. We're eight tenths of an AU away. Let's zoom out and take a look at it if we can. Yeah, it's got units on the far side that we need to get after. Okay, let's let's angle across the face of the disc a little bit. See if we can we can uh, agitate some more. We're doing well, I think. It's just a matter of being careful and patient and not getting greedy. I gotta watch my core energy here. I can't go. I don't want to go too fast. Uh, my hives are all deployed. Okay. Yeah, let's get across the far side of the hive. And get some more unit kills. I guess there's camps and... Yeah, I can't really tell, but I guess there's camps and, and like, defense towers there as well. All right. Are we, are, am I fighting? What's going on? What's, where, where are the units? Feels like we're in pretty close. All that, all that, all those like laser beams coming out. I would like very much to, okay, we need to just start destroying this, I guess. Do I just orbit it like this? I can't tell if anything's coming to kill me. Like when I died, I got one shot real fast. Is, are their units done and we're just killing infrastructure now? Is that what's happening? Do I need to... I might need to tell the fleet... Hang on, let me slow down a little bit. I might need to tell the fleet to attack Relay Station. And then maybe they'll attack the infrastructure. Yeah, I think that was what I needed to do. Okay. Yeah, big swarms of stuff are coming out now. All right, as long as they're not shooting me directly, I should be all right here. We'll just orbit this and let the let the fleets do their work. Gosh. It's beautiful in a way. What's happening to my fleets? It seems we're okay. Now, I don't want to get shot. Yeah, if I'm if I'm shooting missiles, we got a problem. I'm too close to something. Okay, all right. We're we're eat, we're whittling it down it seems. There they go to do more work. I'm almost out of core energy here. I think because my my units are draining it, right? Yeah, we're attacking its infrastructure now, not just its units. Okay. We need to go back to Better Dyson 1 and recharge, and, and then we can come out and finish it. Yeah, look how damaged it is. I think it's, I think we've, I think it's working. So as long as I don't get myself killed. We should be fine. Or flung into space for that matter. Okay, all right. Quick recharge. Uh, it doesn't like building here for some reason. Okay, it'll build over there. Uh, while we're charging up, let's take a look. Uh, seems like I burned through quite a lot of Corvettes there. Yeah, we've almost completely depleted the Corvettes. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a good thing I came back when I did. We have destroyers left. But I guess what I should do is switch over to prioritizing what I have left, which is the Corvettes. 
I don't think we want to go home without 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 doing as much damage as we can. So we'll go in with our heavy destroyers, rather not corvettes. The corvettes are the small ones. Uh, we have a few corvettes left and a few destroyers left. So we'll take the big boys in to finish off the infrastructure now. Hopefully, that's the idea. Let me make one more save just in case, because I don't have any more metadata to like restore myself. Um, let's take a look at the hive here. I think we've really damaged it, but I think if we give it time, it'll rebuild itself. Although we did kind of starve it out, so... Yeah, there's still a lot left. I don't know if we kill it in this run. I might have to go home and get more supplies. Uh, more more Corvettes and uh, Destroyers. We're going to give it a shot. Okay, boys, you're up. Let's see what happens. Put the work in. And as for me, I will try not to die. We can see... If you look in the in the right corner, we can see like the the destroyers kind of getting wrecked by the static defenses here. This inner core seems very strong. Like it's very concentrated. We can damage it, but I don't think we can kill it without a lot more material to to send in. Like we're out of we're out of corvettes and very soon we're going to be out of um everything else, the destroyers too. So like there I think there's like I think there's defensive towers here. And uh they're pulling things out. Also the hive is moving, so we're not we're kind of keeping a constant position on it. I don't know what's going to happen here. I think we're going to run out of uh, destroyers before we kill it, probably. Yeah, we're done. Okay, we're done. I need to leave. Um, so, okay. We're moving away from it now, right? Yeah, alright. So we definitely put some work in. We heard it. But we were not able to finish it. Uh, we need to go home and get restocked and come back as quickly as possible before this thing has a chance to rebuild itself. So let's do that. Stupid technology buff almost killed me there. Like, how I'm, I'm flying at light speed. Do not block my ability to control my power. With a pop-up window. Thank you very much. Okay. So I think we're going to run into a problem here, which is that I don't think any of the strange matter will have made it to the destroyer uh, production line, unfortunately. So we're going to have to tweak that manually, I think. Okay. Let me get over to... Yeah, let's get over here. Uh... Would it have happened? Maybe? Do we have any destroyers available? We do have some destroyers. Not as many as I would have liked. We've got 70. I think we need, like, a serious stock here. Um... So right now, you're not getting frame material? Okay. I guess that makes sense. That's not exactly a high production item. Do I have a stockpile somewhere I can give you? I think I do. Yes. Let's take all the all the spare that we built up, throw it into destroyer production. Okay. What else could you use that you don't have a lot of? Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, we could speed this up. We could upgrade this if I grab one of the one of the Mark Three assemblers. Oh, he's kind of he's kind of jaunty at that twelve meters per second, huh? Yeah, we have a handful of these. I'll take one. I just I I need this as fast as possible. Uh, destroyers, yes. Let's get you upgraded. Okay, so you're gonna have. 1.5 recipes per minute instead of... All right, so it's going to take you... You're making 11.3 per minute. All right. Uh, I don't need attack drones. I need Corvettes. Corvettes we should have more of. Where am I making those? Here. Okay, that's a lot of Corvettes. That's good news, actually. Because those will all feed into our fleet. Um, okay, so we got let's let's change our fleet configuration back. I think we want. I think we want something like that. So there's a little bit of Corvette protecting each destroyer. But mainly we're composed of destroyers. That seems reasonable. We might want like one or two that have a few more Corvettes because we have more of them to burn. And I'd like them to give protection. Like I'd like them to flank the destroyers so that they kind of draw fire. So having six destroyers and the rest Corvettes seems good to me. These should auto replenish. Okay, so... Really, we want to grab... I don't know how many would be enough. As many as we can get, though, right? I mean... How many do we have right now? Uh, we have 50 here. And 50 in the hangar. And our fleet has... Yeah, so we could probably head back now and, and risk it. Like, we could probably try to do it with a hundred destroyers, see if we could finish it. The thing is, as the longer we leave it, the more chance it has to replenish. So, I think I am going to go. I think I'm going to go right now and hope that this is enough. Okay. All right, we've made it back. Uh, let's get charging. And let's take a look at what happened while we were gone. How much did it... Because we were only gone for like three, four minutes. Where's the hive? Let's take a look. It's still pretty damaged. It's still pretty hurt. Hmm. I don't know if we can finish it, but I would like to try. I'd like to take it out. Uh, and we'll do that next episode. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, we got, we got, we got, we made progress. We can see there are swarms protecting it. There's like infrastructure here, some sort of like defensive towers. We'll try to come at it from up here and draw off these ships and maybe the inner ships. I guess those are their version of destroyers. They're probably a lot stronger. If we can peel them away and kill them and leave nothing but buildings hovering in space, maybe we have a shot. Uh, we'll find out next time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you then. Take care.